Hi guys, Matt from Haltech here and today I'm coming to you from Maryland International Raceway. I'm here for the Import vs Domestic World Cup Finals. To start off with, I'm here with Dale Collins Jr. and his O2 Camaro. So Dale, can you tell me uh, a little bit about this car? Firstly, I understand this car actually started as a, you know, a street car at right. some point in time. This rolled off the lot uh, at GM, went to a dealership and somebody purchased it. Right. Tell me a bit about the car a few years later now. Well, what are we running? I pretty much purchased it second hand, stripped it out, gutted it, carried it to a local shop, drumming race cars, got the chassis done, and then Mark Benson took care of the engine and Okay. And then of course, you know, Liberty transmission, right on back. Right, let's start at the front then, so it's a... Uh, it's a Allen Johnson 481X, 540 cubic inch. 540 five, cubic inches, pair of turbos I see here. What twin are we? 94 millimeter turbos. Twin 94 millimeter turbos. Precision. So, with that kind of engine capacity, turbo size, I don't want to give away all your secrets, but right. roughly kind of horsepower rating, what are we, what are we pushing uh, out of this thing? Probably 3,500, maybe. Okay, so <laughs> around 3,500 horsepower out of a chassis that came off GM's lot a few years back. Uh, what, what a, quite a few modifications. I can see that, I can see that. So tell me, we look into the cockpit here, you've got quite a few controls. Right. Uh, what kind of transmission are you running? Uh, we have a quick drive unit with a Liberty transmission behind it, four yep. speed, um, power tank management system of course. Okay, so um, uh, are you still shifting this or are you using the ECU to do the shifting? Uh, ECU. The ECU shifting that automatically down the track. Yes. Is that on RPM or time? How are you doing that? Uh, RPM. Okay, so we get certain RPM, you're shifting through the gears automatically with the ECU. Right. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got? You got the ECU. Tell me about the ECU. What are you running in this? Uh, Haltech. Yep. Uh, pretty much all the bells and whistles that they offer. So we're running the 2500 with a REM. Right. I can see in the engine bay here. You've got individual coils. Right. Now, was the reason you went with the coils over, say, a distributor or a magneto setup? Um, we used to have a mag on it, worked fairly good. Um, we just figured with a coil on plug, yep. it would be more precise and you know more firepower. Yep. Now that's and true. There's some truth in that. And I guess the other thing you think about with the magneto is you uh, don't have a real big timing window. Well, that, yeah, you got a lot of noise interference, stuff yep. like that. So yep. we just tried to clean it up best some, we could. Something a bit more reliable. Something right. with a bit. Bigger timing window in there. Right. That's a pretty cool setup. Uh, what else have we got? We see there's a couple of CO2 bottles in there. What are they used for? Uh, one of them is for shifting, obviously. Um, one of them is for deployment and shoot. Okay. Um, and it also does the trans brake. You need trans brake. Air, air activated. And are you using CO2 for the boost control? Uh, boost control. Yeah. Okay. And the lockout. All right. It's so all that's air. A, you're on the transmission, the shoots, boost control, right. all with the CO2. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. What else have we got in here? So, making big horsepower, we've got, what tire are you running on this? Uh, Mickey Thompson 10.5. It's a 10.5 tire. So yep. you're putting a lot of horsepower through a relatively small tire. Right. All right. Now, with that kind of tire and horsepower, what kind of times are you expecting to run? Uh, we've been 6.05 so far this weekend. Um, we went 6.01 last year. Uh, we're hoping to bust into the fire today. Well, Dale, thanks for your time. Good uh -huh. luck today in the Raspberry Rocket. Thank you. I'm Matt from Haltech. I'll see you next time.